Hello friends, today we're going to see about the intravenous agent, Ethomidate. From this video, you'll know. What is Ethomidate? Appearance. Systemic effects. Disadvantages. Before going to the video. If you're new to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Ethomidate is a sedative, hypnotic, and lipid-soluble agent which acts on GABA receptor but it doesn't have analgesic properties. Milky white liquid appearance, along with the ethomidate it also contains propylene glycol. When we introduce ethomidate with the soil, it causes pain on injection. The oil present in the ethomidate is responsible for pain on injection. It can damage vascular endothelial cells. This pain on injection is less when compared to propofol. It has a rapid onset of action within 30 to 60 seconds. It is lipophilic acts on the reticular activating system in the brain. It causes the highest incidence of nausea and vomiting. Myoclonic activity. It has a 30 to 60 percent incidence of myoclonus activity. That means there is a spontaneous movement of muscle. So, we are careful to take the history of seizures. Because seizures also can lead to increased spontaneous activity. Most cardiovascular stable agent. It is the drug of choice for severe cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases. Because it doesn't increase or decrease the blood pressure. It maintains the blood pressure. Ethomidate does not cause histamine release, but, it causes adrenocortical suppression and inhibits steroid synthesis, leads to a decrease in the rate of mortality. Adrenal suppression refers to decreased cortisol production as a re result of negative feedback on the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, caused by excess glucocorticoids. Ethomidate can decrease the production and secretion of cortisol from the adrenal gland through direct inhibition of the enzyme, 11 beta hydroxylase. The enzyme responsible for the final conversion of 11-deoxycortisol to cortisol. With adrenal insufficiency, the inability to increase cortisol production with stress can lead to an Addisonian crisis. An Addisonian crisis is a life-threatening situation that results in low blood pressure, low blood levels of sugar, and high blood levels of potassium. So, ethomidate leads to a decrease in the rate of mortality. Vitamin C supplements can prevent adrenocortical suppressants. Ethomidate inhibits platelet aggregation. It is important for making a clot. So, this can increase bleeding during surgery. Systemic effects. Cardiovascular system. Most cardiovascular stable agent. Because it doesn't increase or decrease heart rate. So, it is an agent of choice for aneurysm surgery in a patient with cardiac disease. Respiratory system. Depression is less than propofol. Decrease respiratory rate, tidal volume. Central nervous system. Decrease cerebral metabolic rate, cerebral blood flow, intracranial pressure. Dose, 0.2 to 0.3 mg slash kg body weight. Short recall. As I mentioned before, ethomidate is a sedative, hypnotic but not an analgesic. Causes maximum post-operative nausea and vomiting. Myoclonus and suppression of adrenal cortex. So, decrease cortisol level. Used for emergency purposes only. Contraindicated in patients with porphyria and adrenal insufficiency. Okay. Friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. If you like this video please click the like button. These likes can motivate me to do more videos. 
Also, subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.